Welcome to the Win Daily Sports Betting Academy. Today, we're going to be breaking down what a spread, a money line, a total, and a parlay is. I'm Jason Mizrahi. I'm paired with Dave Glock and Rubol from WinDailySports.com. We're going to get right into the basics of sports betting, so stay tuned for the Win Daily DFS Academy. Win Daily, we cover daily fantasy sports, we cover sports betting, we have everything that you need to win and be profitable in the sports betting industry, and today we're going to be giving you the basics, kind of a sports betting one-on-one for smart people who maybe never bet before, who want to dabble in. Dave and myself, we're both in legal states. Dave, you're in New Jersey, sometimes in PA, I'm in New York all the time. We're lucky enough to be able to make bets every single day of the week, and Look, a lot of people come up to me and have very simple questions. So from now on, instead of just answering questions a thousand different times in our Discord chat, our expert chat on WinDailySports.com, we have articles. But we're going to be breaking down the basics right here. So, Dave, let's get it started here, man. You you sports bet. I know you're old. So you've been doing this for quite some time, man. You got the gray hairs just like me. We're both That's old. Bad. We're both wise. <laughs> so let's start with the basics here. What when someone says, "Are you betting on the spread?" What is a spread? Well, a spread is something that the handicappers or the odds makers, we should say, make to create a balance where they can get maybe fifty percent of the wager units on either team, and they base that spread based upon strength and weaknesses that they decide would help handicap a team in a certain situation um, to make it even. So, for for this sense. Football and basketball work on spreads. If you have one of the better teams in the league and one of the worst teams in the league, you're going to see a sizable difference, sometimes in football up to seven. But if you have two teams that are very even, very close, that spread will be within three points or less because those teams' strengths are considered comparable. So a spread is used, really, and we've seen it, again, in both basketball and football, to try and even out the odds that the handicappers foresee or the odds makers foresee. So spreads are good. They give you a chance to win even when your team loses. And, Dave, I'll just add to it for, you know, people trying to make their first bets. If the 49ers, let's say, are playing the Denver Broncos and the San Francisco 49ers are minus seven and you bet the Niners minus seven, they have to win by more than seven points for that bet to cash in your favor. Now, if they win by seven – Everybody gets their money back. The guys who bet plus seven, the guys who bet or girls bet minus seven, they get their money back. It's a wash. You don't lose your money. But, you know, in in a scenario that it's seven and a half, obviously things change. You have to cover the extra half point. So then you would have to win again by eight or more. Now, Dave, a money line is similar to a spread. You know, you have a favorite and you have an underdog. But this is the true test of which team is favored. So explain to everybody what a money line bet is. A money line is just a straight up win proposition bet. You pick a team to win. And now the money line odds will shift a little bit depending on the strength of the team or the weakness of a team. So a team that Jason just said, a seven point underdog, would normally be on the money line somewhere in the plus 150, 160, maybe even as high as 180 area to win the game. What does that mean? If you wager $100 on that team to win and they win outright on the money line and it was plus 180, you've now won $180. On the vice versa, the team that was a minus seven point favorite usually will be about minus 200 to minus 210 on a money line. What does that mean? You have to wager $200 or $210, a lot more just to win that $100 back. But that's what a money line is. A money line takes the odds into favor and adjusts those odds based upon the point spread and you're simply just picking a winner. They just have to win the game. The spread is no longer in play. Yeah, and your payout is pending what the money line is. If it's a plus number, like plus 150, you bet $100, you're going to win 150 back. If it's a negative number, that means if it's negative 150, you know, minus 150, you're going to have to put up 150 to win $100 back. Now, we're using round numbers. You don't have to bet 150. You can still bet a dollar on a minus 150. You can bet $10. You're just winning less than what you're putting out there in return because you're betting on the favorite who everybody or Vegas or sports books thinks is going to win this game. 
Now you can bet on the spread. You can bet on the money line. And if you're not so sure on which side you want to bet on as far as who's going to win the game and how many points you're going to win by, you can also bet on the over under, which is also called the total of the game. You can take team totals or you can take game totals. So Dave, explain the, the team totals and the game totals and what it's like to bet an over under. Simply put, an over under or a total is the combined points of the two teams in the game to go over that total or under that total. So in football, in a lot of cases, you'll see a round number somewhere in the low 40. So a 40 point total, you're looking for both teams combined to go over if you're going to bet the over or both teams combined to go under 40 if you want to bet the under. This comes into play a lot in football and when you look at basketball. Um, and what makes it fun with totals is the potential for overtime, which can bring into all sorts of you know more minutes in the game. That line is still the same what it was said at the beginning of the game. So that total gets you know really interesting, a lot of fun in closer played games, and that's when people really get interested to playing the over or under the total line. Unless you're on the wrong side and you get a bad beat, and yeah. the game is not even meaningful anymore. One team is up by 20 points and they actually score or not score at the end. That's why people are still rooting for games. And, you know, sports betting, you're trying to make money, but it's also entertainment. Sometimes you're on the right side of entertainment and some side you're sweating and under in a meaningless game when they're already up by a lot and they score a touchdown late or a, a random rebound tips in in basketball or a random home run in the ninth inning could screw up and over under in the wrong direction for you. Now, one thing that everybody wants to hit, Dave, everybody goes on Twitter and social media and sees these big parlay payouts. Somebody goes out there, they bet $10, and they win $100,000. So, Dave, we're going to explain a parlay because everybody's betting parlays every single day because they see the, the lottery ticket screenshots up on Twitter or on Facebook or Instagram, and they think it's really easy to hit one of those, but it's actually a lot harder, but... Before we go into the details of the parlay, which we'll do in another video in the series of our Sports Betting Academy um, at Win Daily, let's just explain what a parlay is and then how to make it juicier if one wanted some more action. You get into parlays as soon as you start involving two singular bets into one of your bet tickets. What does that mean? You want to take two random occurrences, two point spreads, but put them in the same bet now that becomes a parlay. And as Jason said earlier, that can stretch to three, four, five, and you can get as big and as large as you want, up to 20 legs we've seen. Um, obviously, the odds go up exponentially as you continue to add teams to your bet. A standard two-team parlay, normally somewhere you know in the, in the two-and-a-half point range that you can get odds on to, uh, to hit that. But we, we've seen, you know, 101 to as long as you as you keep expanding that parlay. So parlay is anything where it's two or more bets on one ticket. Obviously the odds go up, but obviously you lose one, it's done. It's not you win one, you lose one, you get some money back. As soon as you lose one leg, you could go eight and one on a nine leg ticket and you lose all your money that you put into it. So parlays are very risky, but they're also the ones that people show off the most about. Yeah, we want everybody to be responsible, you know, while you're making your bets. Always understand, you know, what your bankroll management is. We're going to do a lot of different, you know, responsible gaming type videos and articles at windailysports.com, you know, to prevent any kind of issues. You definitely want to set your bankroll, set your parameters, have some fun with it, budget yourself, and, you know, trust in a process, paper trade before you really go all in. We're here to assist. We're not giving you know advice currently on what games to bet on. We're just trying to give you some structure and understanding on how to make wagers and how to do things the right way if you want to go ahead and make these bets in legal states. We'll be back on the Sports Betting Academy at windailysports.com. We're going to be hitting you with a lot of different series throughout the season. So make sure to come back to our YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hop in our expert chat at windailysports.com. And we have so much great content from a sports betting perspective and also a daily fantasy perspective and season-long fantasy. So if you're into fantasy sports, you're playing on DraftKings or FanDuel, or you're wagering at the sports books, make sure you check us out.